Hey everybody, good morning. Um, I don't know about how when you guys go off-roading, but uh, when we do, we prep for absolutely anything. So today I wanted to take a minute and really just show you how we prep and what we, what it takes for us to really go on these adventures that we go on because there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that you guys don't all see. So it's gonna be a minute. I'm gonna go through everything we have just so you guys know what you could take and uh, just to make it a safer trip. You know, I don't wanna get caught out here with anything unexpected so i really prep for everything every time and a lot of this stuff just stays in the truck um so let's go through what we got all right so first is our box of fluids so in here i got pretty much any fluid i need to get us home we got coolant um we got power steering fluid we got brake fluid we got gear oil starter fluid because you never know um I usually keep a couple of propane things on us because I have a heater buddy. I'll show you guys here in a little bit. Um, and then obviously some WD-40 because you never know when you're going to need that. And some brake fluid as well. Um, honestly, sometimes I even bring some more fluids and stuff. Uh, I keep some extra valve stems in here. Um, a little bit of fuel line just in case. Um, so yeah, because you never know what you're going to need. And I don't want to be that guy stuck up there. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> sorry um it can get pretty treacherous up here at night i mean you get near zero degrees um and really high winds overnights up here in the mountains so if you're stuck without stuff i mean being stuck up there is really not something you want to be a part of uh it gets it gets really bad up there so like i said we stay prepped for absolutely everything that we can this stuff we keep everything totes because um, being in the blazer, there's lots of room back here. You got a lot of space right here to put stuff. So we like to have everything in totes. So that way we can take everything out, wash it all when we get home, restore it back in the totes, and then we are ready to go for the next trip. Um, this one, this is kind of like more of our uh, goodies. Not goodies, but uh, essentials. Show you what we got here. Um, we got forks and spoons, little mini shot glasses in case you need a drink, you know, because, oh, sorry, can't see it. So, got some toilet paper, forks and spoons, some shot glasses, um, all of our snow clothes is in here, extra blankets, extra clothes for everybody. Um, we mostly go up in the snow, so you get soaked and you just want to be warm on the way home. There's just, you get so cold when you're fully soaked from snow um snow clothes are not you know sometimes it soaks through and if you got to lay in the snow to work for a couple hours you you know you're gonna you're gonna be wet so change your clothes all that good stuff sorry about the little glare here uh, there's like a glare right here sun's starting to come up finally so next on our list we got tools um i will never go anywhere off road without my tool bags that's just a me personally thing you get up in the mountains being up there camping overnight is super cool. However, what you don't want to do is get stuck camping when you're not expecting to be camping. So I have a full tool bag set up. Um, it's just the stuff that we need to get ourselves home. So I, I like my impacts. I have a half inch drive, so it's all max stuff. So I have impact, drill, um, three eighths. This three eighths impact gun quarter inch impact gun and then also a three eighths electric ratchet uh this this stuff is obviously you don't need all this fancy stuff um but when i'm up there it's cold so i want to get the job done as quick as possible and i want to get back on the road either back wheeling or back on my way home if i break you know and it's getting close to nighttime and we can't afford to be up there all night that's you know i want to have this thing fixed as quick as possible um, so that we can get back on the trail and enjoy our day or get back night home at night safely. Um, so there's that, you know, I got my pneumatic tools also, um, just a nice quarter inch drive, uh, bit set. Cause you never know what you're going to need. Also, I have socket trays, um, I have three inch drive sockets. I also have a thing of half inch drive sockets in here, but they're kind of heavy. So I'm not going to pull them out right now. Um, these are double ended mountain wrenches. So you can have 10 different sizes and only have five wrenches. Plus they have a lot of leverage. So I use the heck out of these. Also flashlights. I have a charger built into the truck. Um, flashlights is definitely a big thing, especially if you're going to be out there at night. Also, we do have rock lights on the truck. So right here, 
Um, there's lights up in here on all four corners. So if we are doing the tire repair or something on the trail, you can click the rock lights on. You can see good there. Also, you want to bring some good pliers. Um, these are cutters, some nice pliers, um, some wire crimpers, just in case you got to do some wire repair on the trail for you or a buddy. You never know. And um, some Nipex pliers, too, for if you really need some big leverage. These are my big universal ones, so if I need to get something big, or honestly, if I even need to, like, break a tree branch or something off the trail, I got this. Um, just a couple ratchets, and then some more of those mountain wrenches. I have five in here, so I can cover pretty much all my wrench sizes with just five wrenches. I hate everywhere from 8 mil to 19, so there's obviously a couple in there. It doesn't have, like, 11 and... Um, I think just 11. I think 11 is the only one it doesn't have. Um, so other than that though, I mean, we'll get on to the next section of tools, show you what else we take with us. Cause I'll tell you what, we are not done here. There's more. Every time, every time we go up, there's more. We have a bunch of stuff to get and I'll show you the rest. Before we go too much further, I want to show you uh, my tailgate progress. I'm really happy with where I'm getting on it. Um, here's my old one. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember from the last video, but this thing is just split. Um, so I'm going to take you up there and show you where we're at with the tailgate progress. Um, should have the new tailgate on in the next week or two. I'm really excited for it. All right, and if you hate all the road noise in your square body, because I know it's atrocious. There's so much fucking road noise in these if you don't do them right. So, um, this tailgate, this is my new tailgate I've been working on. Still don't have all the parts for it, but I'm going to do some more today. Um, the sound deadener, I do one layer on the outside. I do another layer on the inside facing this way. Um, not much, just another piece right here. And then inside, um, that's the back wall of the panel. There's two layers of sound deadener there. I got my new manual window regulator. I'm getting ready to get everything put back together here. Um, but I'm also going to do a layer of acoustic foam. This is all stuff from Sky High. I'm going to do acoustic foam um, over the whole thing. I'm going to show you that. I'll do that here in a second. I'll show you that all done. And then I'm going to build a nice wood panel to uh, and uh, gloss it and everything to kind of just really seal it off and cut out as much wood, uh, road noise as possible. So I'll show you that all done and uh, we'll move on. We'll get this thing installed. You know, some people think it's easy to take an old 80s SUV, truck, car, whatever, and make it quiet inside. You know me, I'm off-roading the hell out of this thing, but no matter where I am, I want it to be quiet. And I go through all of this just to ensure a nice, quiet ride inside the vehicle. I want to hear my music. I want to hear people when they're talking to me. Like, and I just, I don't want to hear the drone and all that. If I want to hear something, I'll roll my windows down. So I got sound editor in here. I got acoustic foam. I got acoustic foam. I ran it all the way into here. Um, around that so it has a nice seal so when this is bolted down it's going to be nice and quiet and I'm going to have a three-quarter inch um, nice really nice built trim piece to match the rest of my panels I built in my truck honestly uh, eventually the whole back is going to be like that it'll all be nice three-quarter ply all uh, dark oak stained I have some of it done already but I'm going to have this whole thing decked out I'm going to have the subs built into the sidewalls everything fully secured in the body this thing's going to be sweet all right, you thought we were done, huh? No, there is plenty more that we have to get ready every single time we go in the mountains. We're making these videos for you guys, and I want you to know exactly how much goes into this because it ain't easy. But I'll tell you what, there's nothing more fun and there's nothing we enjoy more than going out here off-roading this blazer and making videos for you. Right here, this thing, this is awesome. We've used this countless times. This is a heater buddy, um, uses a Coleman uh, little propane can. It's a, it's not a direct open flame, so it's pretty safe to use like in enclosed spaces. Um, we'll set it up on the tailgate and we'll use it while we're cooking, while we're eating. Um, the only thing is, is if it's, if it's kind of windy out, it won't really work. So um, we have ran it in inside of the vehicle with all the windows up and door closed in extreme circumstances where we have to stay warm. Um, other than that, we try not to use it in the truck. However, they say it's safe for indoor use. Um, our toe strap, we got this. Honestly, it's getting a little worked. It's not bad, but it's starting to get chewed up a little bit on the ends. Um, I would really like to get um, a kinetic tow rope. I've used them. They're awesome. Um, I have a, uh, what is it, an affiliate with Yankum Ropes, so hopefully I'll be getting something from them soon. They also offered you a discount code, 10%, if you use code ANGRY at checkout for Yankum Ropes. Um, also, I always keep my glue tread tire repair kit with me, um, just in case I gotta fix a sidewall or something on the road. Uh, they also gave us discount code Ingrid for you guys. Uh, that's 10% off at checkout. 
<sighs> this thing's pretty cool. A friend of mine gave me this. This is like a four wheel drive safety or like an off roading safety kit. Um, it's got a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna try to remember how to get this thing open. Oh, there we go. So this is just packed full of stuff you might need on the trail. Um, I'm not gonna go all the way through it, but you got some parachute cord. Um, you got a, a nice knife in here. Um, first aid kit, because sometimes people do get hurt up there. I've seen some crazy things happen up in the mountains. Um, so you always just want to be prepared. Uh, this is like an emergency pop-up shelter. It's like a little tent, which is pretty cool. Um, some more paracord. It's a, and then some some glow sticks. Uh, another knife. There's a fold-out fork in here, which I think is really cool. I have some utensils. Um, fold up. It's like a pocket knife. It comes with a spoon, a fork, a knife, corkscrew, all that good stuff. Um, what else do we got in here? Just some hooks and straps and a compass. Um, don't know if I'll have to use that, but we usually go up on trails where we kind of already know where we're going. However, <clears throat> you get stuck up there and you don't know where you're going, you might need to have a compass. So it's nice that it's in here. Um, we haven't had to use this yet thankfully um but it's a really cool thing to have my friends gave me that for christmas one year i uh, really appreciate them for that that was awesome um, awesome gift and then what else do we got only other thing we really take is uh the gimbal you know i don't know if all you know what these are but use this for filming it keeps everything level um change it access all that stuff so this is really cool for getting some cool shots uh, i use this every time we go up off-roading for footage and all that um oh i guess there is still a couple more things left we got um haven't got everything yet um over here also every single time this goes with me that's my high lift this thing's been through hell i've got this thing from harbor freight i've used it countless times over the last five years uh it takes a beat just keep the the ratchet points at all right here keep these ratchet points all lubed up in wd-40 then these things will work great forever and then also i want to make sure you keep the shovel um <laughs> you, you'll end up digging out you'll end up getting stuck having to dig yourself out so i keep a full-size shovel with me because it's just way easier to dig with a full-size shovel some people keep those like fold-out shovels and stuff and they're cool but they're more hassle than their work for me. I just grab my big shovel and we're at it, you know. Um, that's pretty much all for, that's pretty much all we, we got. I mean, we keep all this stuff with us every single trip. Um, and I know I've said that and I've said it over and over again, but I want you guys to be safe up in the mountains and be prepared for anything because there's really anything can happen, um, especially up in the snow. I've seen people get snowed in. I've seen white out conditions where people get stuck up there overnight and you don't want to be one of those people. You don't want to be one of those people having to call search and rescue to come save you off the top of the mountain with a snow cat in the middle of the night. Um, so just stay safe out there people and let's go off road. Good morning, everybody. Um, I just want to show you a couple things we got going on, a couple of updates real quick. I'm trying to uh, beat the storm, trying to get my new tailgate on this morning. Um, also, I got some 42s on here now. I got rid of the fun countries. Um, I just needed some money, so I had these light rocks in there. They're not even the best tread, but they'll get me through the winter and through some summer wheeling. I'll try to get some new tires this summer, but this is how it looks on 42s. I've never had 42s on it. Honestly, I actually built it for 42s and just I've had three sets of 40s and two sets of 44s on this. Never had 42s. I still got to mount the last tire, but. So if you have problems with uh, popping beads on your off roads, um, somebody showed me this and I think it's super cool. I've tried it before. And then basically you do a couple wraps of tape around the inner safety bead, making a bigger lip right here. And that allows for the tire to grab a little better. When you air down at low pressure, it doesn't pop the bead off. So I'll show you that I actually put it on these wheels. I'll also show you uh, setting up the tire on the wheel. And then I'll show you off road it as well, just to show you that it works. I did that trick I was showing you guys about taping up the safety bead before I inflated it. 
honestly, the fish, it looks so small now. Uh, it's so funny, like, only lost two inches off the tire, but I guess they are four inches narrower. But it just looks so much smaller. So, I'm gonna work this morning on getting this tailgate off. And, uh, we're gonna get this tailgate off. And hopefully get the new one on before the rain gets here. So, we'll get to work. See y'all soon. Alright, tailgate's off. Ready to put the new one on. Um, gotta transfer some parts over still, so. Gotta do that, and then we'll have the new one on in a jiffy. Ready? Bam! Man, that's cool. I can't wait till the rest of it's white, but still, for now, I'm super happy about it. This is my favorite part, though. I've always wanted one of these. Oh, let's zoom out. Yeah! Fuck yeah, that's awesome. I love that. And then, when you lock it, it uh, unlocks the clutch inside here, so it'll just spin. But I'm gonna roll it all up because we got a big storm coming. It's just about here. They said uh, 12 feet of snow up in Tahoe. And we're only about an hour from there, so hopefully we'll get some snow up in the mountains this weekend. And next weekend we'll go up for another trip. Thanks for uh, watching, everybody.